Ha, ha, ha. 
What can you tell us about yourself? <laughs> well, actually, I'm a remarkably tall pathologist <laughs> with a particular interest in astrocytosis, <laughs> microgliosis, <laughs> gliosis, <laughs> and necrotic bowel. Well, I never. Well, well, then. Wow, what an athletic person. What can you tell us about yours, Tom? Well, I'm an Olympic long-distance jogger. But for the last eight years, I've been working towards my Boy Scout mythology badge here. Oh, marvellous, marvellous. Oh, uh, hello, founder. Or may I call you sir? Most people do. What a joker. Marvellous. Well, Well, what a star. What a star. And oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree. What a contestant, eh? What a contestant. Cinders, tell us all about yourself. Well, I was just sitting watching the telly. And here I am. Ah! Audience, I'm sure you'll agree. What an interesting bunch of people we have. Here.
WD-40 sneaked in there, didn't it? Well, teams, I'm afraid you're both wrong this time, yet again. This is what happened. Well, you know what I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, we better go on anyway. 
<laughs> ah, the same sort of game. Here we go then. What have I bid for three Jacob sheep? Just one careful lady owner. Well, actually, as all your four here should know, <laughs> on page 342 of CFAX, and in Farmer's Weekly, it's quite clearly stated, £2.13 a pound. All wrong yet again. I don't believe this. Anyway, teams, you're not doing so badly. I think a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for their marvellous attempt so far. Retinize and take part in our next game, which is as follows. We asked 39 fourth year vet students, are pathology demonstrations worth attending? <laughs> How many said yes, pathology demonstrations are worth attending? A figure, please, Jeff. At least 42. What does the audience think? <laughs> Categorical. Cinders, what do you think? 26. Now, well, what does the audience think? No. 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 What does the audience think? No. No. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, you're not going right. well, to. You're not going to. You're not going to believe the real answer. Three said yes. <laughs> Correct! Oh, marvellous! 
Marvelous, marvelous. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for our winner tonight, Miss Cinderella. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. And the prize is now the most important part. Four cinders. No less than two weeks for yourself and a friend in the VI centre of your choice. And the pathologist was super contestants, absolutely marvellous. Super. Four weeks in the VI centre of your choice. just about wraps up the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you'll agree what marvellous contestants we've had. A big round of applause, please, for them all. What super contestants, Seb, Bowder and Jeffrey. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, oh.
next thing you know, they'll be wanting you to slow down in lectures or put it all in handouts so they don't even have to bother turning up the all. No, no, no. You must remember, these students have expensive cars to run and an extensive social life forced upon them. I really do think that the student grant should be doubled and that we ought to introduce a three-day working week. Well, 
We tried radiography, ECGs, ultrasound, chemotherapy. <laughs> None of them worked. We even tried that large animal wonder drug. Cure all, what's it called? Terramazin? Terramazin. Easy to use, it's got everything these days. That didn't work either. I think it's time for more traditional therapy. Andy, Grant, Florence, perhaps you'd like to uh, demonstrate the technique. Uh, I never was much convinced by the <coughs> traditional methods of therapy. I mean, a rain dance for a downer cow uh, seems rather illogical. Mark you, the only thing I can remember about pattern is concept of which I never really grasped quite as firmly as electoral mathematics. <laughs> and that's this. Run! Yes? Uh, yes, I checked. It's definitely a cow. <laughs> For goodness sake, Grant, stop dreaming about your XR3 eye and get on with it. <laughs> Cabriolet. Cabriolet. Oh, sorry. But it's not getting us very far, is it? I think it's time for magic rounds. <laughs> Andy, perhaps you'd like to start. Oh, this flower can be significant. I seem to know that flower poison is quite important in the bovine. Yes, we could take a punch biopsy of the leaf. In the tree surgeon might like to have a look at its stalk. I hear it's quite into angular stem deformities. And I think we should do some radiography. We could take a xylem flow sample for SAP. Ah, uh, you mean that serum alkaline phosphatase? No, sap. <laughs> I think I've got the wrong end of the stalk. <laughs> I mean the cow. My God! A rat! <laughs> Poor rat. Poor. Poor ratty. Gone, Ewanny. Poor rat. Pantomime cow. 
This is most unusual. This cow has a fascinating heart sound. I will endeavor to describe it to you. Well, my dear, how boring is Scott's rabies. Liberation palsy or bad scabies. Sick will be impressed with what they've sent us. And they never stop to think about the paper when referral causes free the PTU to run him. But he reports back to confound them. Cause you know we always ultra sound them. If we see more hand, then please remember. This is nothing very special. It's the board we've had since last November. We'll do these things in practice, think they are. And when you circumcise your stethoscopes and diagnose disease, I treated them with overread and chat before they tease. <laughs> Don't forget the guys who killed your knees. Tinkle, 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 splash. Tinkle, 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 splash. <laughs> With our colleague, if you don't, you know what his response will be. He cannot see you with regret. It burgers up his very taxing schedule, roller skating round the next school. Let us go to point of exit. Far too many students drinking coffee. Not a single one puts in his 10 feet. Now we have to bleed them, though we care for basic human rights. It makes you wonder what he bought the beach. Chappy for the teas. Don't forget the guys who showed you these. <laughs>
official statement that students have started sleeping in the large animal theatre. <laughs> This follows Benson's lead in setting up a small bed sitting next to the hematology lab, which is at present only used for sleeping during daylight hours. <laughs> then the new medicine parking rotors were announced. These were greeted with a now customary degree of enthusiasm and a degree of confusion. And now, the other rumours of the day. A man is tonight helping police with their inquiries after being found sleeping in a car in Newmarket. His claims that he is the assistant of a well-known veterinary surgeon who was staying in a nearby luxury hotel. <laughs> a petition was received by the BBC today from a group of lecturers requesting that neighbours be broadcast five minutes earlier. <laughs>
Does that condensation run up? Well, predictably, I disagree. I say they're secretory devices. Enclosed in an exquisitely thin capsule of cumuloepithelium. Their products collect basally. Ooze out and fall thousands of feet to the ground below. Where they smash to bits. <laughs> Why do they do this? Well, I don't know. Bloody stupid thing to do, you ask me. Now, whilst this is going on, something interesting happens. About time two, I do, so. We're going to consider an actual example. This is Swindon. 1957. <laughs> 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 I'll up on the original last in six and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
every cloud has a silver staining lining. <laughs> Haven't you? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's not true. It's just an artifact. <laughs> and if you can't see the sun, don't blame me. Probably because your condenser's in the wrong place and you've got your diaphragm shut. <laughs> right, I suppose you're all wanting a break, aren't you? Well, I'll give you 20 minutes as long as you're back within a quarter of an hour. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 